Well, that went better than I expected. Frankie's a good boy. <laughs> a good man. It's because he agrees with you. You're a good man, too. I'll get the dishes. No, I get them. Is it your sight? Here, me. Jesse. Let me do it. Can I get you anything? Okay. Ta da. Not to do that. Yes, I do. It's for you. <laughs> it's for pleasure. Uh, uh, after the party went south, they stuck it in the freezer, and I'm glad you came back because if you hadn't, we would have been looking at major freezer burn, and that's like seven bucks I'd never see again. <laughs> anyway, Colby, why don't you do the honors? Mm. And I got something else. I've been hanging on for you. Uh, and I gave it to you. You didn't have to do anything. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. It's just I wanted you. Uh, I wanted you to have this. What? Don't stand there. Just open. Okay, okay. Rocky! Yeah. Oh! ho! So it's six. Good. Yep. Italian stallion. I thought if you were up for it, <gasps> uh, we could have a marathon and grow old together watching him. <laughs> Sounds cool. Dad. You don't look much better than you did when I left you. You're getting kicked to the curb by your daughter, that will do it to you. You talk to Colby. I want to call that talking. She really doesn't want to have anything more to do with me. Well, I feel your pain. No clue. Why? What's wrong? Crystal was just going off on me about what a disaster zone my marriage is. But what really hurts is most of what she said is true. Tell me what you found that's going to blow my fiance out of the company. Maybe you should sit down. Tell me, JR. Do you know? The guy you're about to marry, he's just from dead people. 